63 to 69, northeast 6 to 12. But Thursday and Friday, oh, 75 to 76, south wind 6 to 12. 74 to 84 on Saturday, I mean Friday, southwest 8 to 16. So Thursday and Friday are going to be nice days. And it's nice today, 69 is okay, but I like the 70s better. We'll see what happens. we got to pick up a bunch of weird stuff today. Some machetes and I don't know what all. Well, here's what I picked up this morning. Two wood stalls, two M.O. Lagasse's. Uh, this might be a Cuisinart. I don't know what it is. And a nice global. And then a nice machete from the Army. U.S. Ontario. U.S. Machete. Ex Airborne Engineer. And a rotary cutter. I got some ladies wants me to see if I can sharpen some rotary cutters. I never sharpened them before. They don't look too complicated, but the blade you can buy the blade for five or six bucks. A new blade. Thing costs fifteen new. I don't know. Yeah, in here I got a whole box of knives that just came in the mail. I haven't even looked at them yet. Let's get them out of there. Well, I always say one thing: they're packaged up nice. Look at them. All got paper sleeves on them and everything. Stand by. Okay, we got two Henkels. We got a Henkel one, two. We got three Henkel Internationals. We got an analog and one big cut code serrated with the tip. Kind of broke off of it. Nice package. I like packages like that. Off we go. Off we go. Gray Matter City. There's Mr. Eddie's car. Eddie the firefighter. He's already here. He's been here about 10 minutes, he said. We'll see how it goes when we cross over the dune here. Ah, it looks pretty good. I see some sloughs. Tide's getting off good. And a ski baby. But she's occupied. I see Eddie. Eddie's over there about 200 yards. Digging gray matter. He's in the gray matter zone. <laughs> uh, damn. Oh man, it looks good down that way. Okay. Here we go. You see how Eddie's making out. Titanium number two. Got two titaniums together. God. Looks pretty good here, though. Where's all the treasure at? <laughs> half a fingernail clip, or a penny, or a pop top, and a can. Uh, I got you. A half a half a pull tab. No, half hey. a toenail clip. Oh, they, toenail clip. It's <laughs> got the point in it. You can at least clean your fingernails. There you go. That's a good. A bunch of iron. Yeah, it's every, always a lot of iron every here. Every other hit to iron. You know. I don't see that's the first time I've ever seen that little hook down oh, there. You man, see it? It's, it's, you can walk off. Look at that, another old guy. <laughs> titanium number one and titanium number two. Oh, that's one, that's two. Two titaniums and one pile. How you doing? He got a travel school right, born in. How, How you doing? doing? Hit it. Or Bob, either one. You got the travel scoop, you take it apart. Yeah, I got a regular one. Yeah, well, you and I ain't travel. That's the one he sent me for a mile. I sold it to him. Oh, I didn't sell it to him. Oh, yeah. uh, John sold it to him. I got a good deal on that thing, 450. 
<laughs> I see some iron that time. See that rust? Yeah, I ain't gonna look no further. <laughs> I ain't no holy, holy jumping Toledo's. That's the best of it right there. Okay. Sort of a jumpy four and five. Worse sounds worse now. I think I see it. Now we got a nice sound in seven. Hey, we're getting somewhere now. Look at that. We got a platinum chain. Platinum in my mind only. How about that? Hey! <laughs> what you got there, buddy? Huh? What you got? I don't know. I don't think that was it. It's, it's a little old sound right there. See if he's picking it up. Hold on your hand. Huh? That might be getting your bracelet though. Yeah. No, I don't think that's it. I think it's right there. Where, where you see it? Right there. Somewhere right in that little pile right there. Right here? Somewhere in there. Nope, right there. Back up a little bit. Back up a little bit that way. All right, now go down. Huh? Come this way. See if you got it now. Nope. Still got it. Still there? Yeah. Whatever it is, it's got to be tiny. It's It's got 11. 11? That's a pretty good number, though. Huh? That's a pretty good number. I know it. You got it that time. I Throw it, it up here in the sand. Hey, Boyd. Toss it up here in the sand. That way you can find it on the hard sand. There it is, I think, right there. No. That's it right there. See a little piece of the copper? That's what it was? Yeah. That's it. That thing right there. That's what the hell it was. <laughs> Got a solid eight. What the eight is? Look at the horses right there. We've got a lot of horses there. That young lady's got a whole pile of horses. You got your horses on the beach today, huh? What you looking for? There it is, copper. Or aluminum or something.
I may have just hit the graveyard for the gray matter. Got a signal here and a signal there and a signal over here. So it could be the graveyard gray matter. Let's see what the first one is. That'll give us an idea. The solid 18, that's a good gray matter number. Gotta be some in China though. That gray matter can go down there, boy. All right, there it is. First ticket. <laughs> ah, gray matter. Pyramid gray matter. Look at that. Look at that. I knew it. Gray matter city. The detector sitting right on top of another gray matter right now. Another gray matter. Bank gray matter. <coughs> See what? Penny. Plenty of gray matter right here. Oh, yeah. All you want right now. Gray matter. Uh, gray matter. Gray matter. You can dig all you want right now. Well, I'm tired of digging gray matter. So much gray matter here, I can't stand it. It's everywhere. Eddie's got a pocket full. Listen, look at it. <laughs> God, the gray matter. You digging the gray matter too? Yeah. One little piece. Oh yes, move back that way. I got my scoop on a target over there. Yeah, I get a, I get a different. I get a six. Yeah. Is that there? Yeah. I don't expect it to be very big though. It ain't big. <laughs> I'm like you. I don't even see it now. I give up on it. It ain't working. Thank you, Scoot. Yeah, I must have missed it. It's a four now. Yeah, it's we'll gone out of the four. Damn, yeah, I can find it. It's a million dollars, I'll take half. <laughs> ah, I don't feel so bad now. The guru can't find it either. <laughs> it's there some damn place. It's in that pile now. Okay. Must be a little teeny thing. Yeah, because I only got my sensitivity at 13. I can hear it. It's a good signal. Up. Oh. I moved it. <laughs> yeah, if I see anything, I don't see nothing. Yeah. I don't know either. I'm tired of looking for it. I 
thought I had a nine here, but I don't hear it anymore. Now it's jumped to 10, but I got it out. I don't see anything. It says I got it. There she be. Swivel. Stainless steel number two. Nineteen. Another gray matter. I'm, I'm not in the gray matter zone now. Come back here, Gladys. Must be some gray matter over here, too. There's another one right here beside it. Looks like a lure head. Gray matter and iron. We got a 29, 28, 29. Now it reached 30. I don't think that's no gray matter. That might be 25 cents. That's what it is. 25 cents. We found 25 cents in three days. <laughs> A much better day today. got another high number 27 to 31 That might be iron. Still reading good, though. It reached 30 out of the hole. Well, we got it, whatever it is. I don't think it's a quarter, though, it's heavy. Oh, man. It's a big piece of crap. Look at that. What the heck is that? <clears throat> a Chinaman hole. I need a titanium scoop for that hole. Great balls of fire that was deep. One, probably gray matter. Yeah. I can't find that shit. Twenty one, still can't find. It. Yeah, 
Yeah, I hear it. <laughs> I hear it. I hear it in there. It's a cycle. Yeah, I guarantee it is. Got to be one. No, it's a little. Yeah, a little small gray matter. Yeah. Hey, that's a boat. Oh yeah. Yeah, it ain't no gray matter. No, that's right. It's a brass boat. That's not a brass boat. Yeah, brass piece, the top. That's that docks off the whole day. I'll be there somewhere. Around. I'm digging. Do you use that? You use a that pinpoint switch at all? Yeah. Okay. Little baby gray matter. Not gray matter, huh? Little baby. <laughs> you couldn't throw it out if you had eight. You find a lot of coins. No, I find one quarter. What? <laughs> I found one penny. <laughs> find any sinkers? All those, I've you got, walk back that way. I've got iron. I've, I've been digging a good bit of iron. But, uh, no, no, uh, no sinkers. I hunted around there because I figured it was hit. Look at this. Look at this. Titanium. Eddie said he was going home early. I said, buddy, old pal, old friend, let me borrow that scoop. <laughs> he said, okay. I got to pick up something from him tomorrow anyway. I told him I'd bring it back to him tomorrow. So I get to finish the day with a titanium lightweight scoop. Ah. I'm hunting right down this slough. I got a rip. We got a ripple slough kind of up from the beach, you see? Right like in the middle here. I haven't found anything yet. I just got here to kind of wide ripple sleuth. I hunt going down this way. I hunt on the other side coming back. Got a jumpy nine. Went very deep. There's a titanium got it. I don't see anything. Well, there it is. A nine. I don't know what it is, but it sounds good. Shaky 14. Uh-oh, look at that iron. Can you see it? That bleed off right there. That's a tiny, some kind of irony thing right there.
Looks like a piece of crap out of wire. That was a bad sign. For the titanium to have to dig something like that up. That is terrible. A 16, 17. Uh oh, there's some more damn iron. Look at that. Look at that rust. Whatever it is, right there. My curiosity is up. There it is. A big nut, I think. We find a lot of these on here. You've seen them before, a big steel nut. Come on here, Titanium. You, you got to get away from all this mess here. Get us some good taquitos. You were not designed to dig iron. A 10 and 11. I see some more iron. Oh, it's a bottle cap. That's bottle cap number two. I only dug two today. Sixteen. Come on, titanium, get me something out of there. Oh no, I think I see more iron. More big iron. What in the world is that? I want a, a bigger nut. Yep, that's what it looks like. A big nut. I'm going to throw that in the trash can on the way home. Are you the gray matter man? Gray matter. That's a iron, there's a lead. Yeah, that's it. They, they <laughs> little too. They ain't yeah. no big ones. No, that's okay. There's all good. sizes here. You feel me? They all over the place. You ain't kidding. You pass out digging them right here. Uh, you can pass out digging them right here. <laughs> A six. I don't see no knockout gold ring. Like a back of a button or a shotgun shell or something. That's a sensitivity at 13. Finds that kind of crap. Yeah, that's a new little guy there. <laughs> hey, Billy Bowser, what are you doing? What kind of dog is that? Shepherd? Australia, yeah, Australian Shepherd. Australian Shepherd. How old is he? Um, almost three months. Three months? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got one very similar. <laughs> Okay, you know what? He'd be a nice dog. Yeah. All right, here's where we came in at. There's the entranceway. There's that other ripple slew I was telling you about up here. I'm going to hunt up that way for a little bit. Let Boyd catch up. He's behind me a ways. Big wide ripple slew.
Okay. I ain't dug anything that way. I turn around and come back this way. I, I ain't hit a thing coming up this way. That's what we put in. If you want to go back, we can go right up there and go home. Well, that's up to you. My leg about, about had it today. I did about three and a half hours I shot her this morning. And yeah. Well, here's the roundup. We left the gray matter biting. Two pile, two big areas of gray matter. About uh, half a block apart. There's that 24 karat chain. A quarter. Boat zinc. Shaft zinc off a boat. I don't know what that was. Well, you saw the nut. I don't know what that is. This looks like a little bit of a bling earring or something maybe. It's a little junk. Okay, see you tomorrow somewhere. I got eddies, I'll add eddies in here. I think the eye is better. Look at that. It looks better. And he seems to be able to catch almost everything. Oh. <laughs> I spoke too soon, I hit him right in the nose. Perfect. Perfect, Big O' Jack. Look at that. Ha! Circus train dog. I got your rope here. Let it in. You want to catch it? Here you go. You can't wait five seconds. Look at that, boy. Ha! Back to almost normal. Ha! Perfect. Perfect, Big O' Jack. Oh, that hit him in the nose. That was a little bit high, though. Oh, that went by him. He won't try one? Look up. <laughs> she can catch him. That Indian can catch him, boy. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect. That's all you get. You tired of now, ain't you? You tired of Big O' Jack. Yes, you're tardy. You're a tardy big old jack. Look at this titanium back scratcher. Mmm, he said I like it. Titanium back scratcher. While we're discussing titanium back scratchers, there's been a lot of controversy about the price being extremely high. And it is high, in my opinion. But you have to consider, if you were a young guy getting into this hobby, I'd save my money till I had enough to buy one. Just for the wear and tear that you won't have on your shoulder when you get older. That's why it makes a nice scoop for us old guys. It's light. Which, I, which everybody's already told you already. When you get agey, light means a lot. It saves your body a lot of different things. This thing's constructed very well. Now I ain't too keen on those little slots right there myself. If I were to ever have one, I'd have these side holes or bigger everywhere. No more little slotty crap for me. I've dug too much of that stuff. It was, has no use whatsoever. I don't know what to tell you, except that I would invest in one if I was younger. What do you think it is? Would you like to get your back scratched by a titanium back scratcher? <laughs> Jack, what do you think? I like it, he said.
He never gives up. His tongue fall out. He would never. I've only seen him quit four or five times. And that was in July, August. He'd pick the ball up and run in the house. <laughs> now tomorrow, I have to take the titanium back scratcher back to Eddie. God, terrible. 